नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ हिंदू वर्ल्ड एक्सक्लूसिव टुडे आई हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद मी स्पेशल गेस्ट फॉर अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक रीजन हिंदू वर्ल्ड हैज ऑलवेज बीन सपोर्टिंग ऑफ गुरखा लैंड एंड देयर जस्टिफाइड डिमांड ऑफ हैविंग अ स्मॉल आइडेंटिटी एंड अ स्मॉल स्टेट ऑफ देयर ओन कंटिन्यूइंग दिस I'm going to have a conversation with Dr. Binu Sundas, who is the GJM Youth uh, President, Delhi Unit Students President, Delhi Unit. My apologies, and uh, he's been constantly associated with this movement. He's been part of this movement, and at a very young age, you have fought a lot, if I may say. Welcome, Doctor. Welcome to Hindu World Exclusive. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are a medical doctor. No, I'm not. I I have done my PhD from Jawaharlal Nehru University. Very nice. Mm. Are you teaching? Yeah, I'm teaching at the moment. Yes, I I teach in Miranda House, University of Delhi. Oh, okay, that's nice. Doctor, doctor, I'm going to come directly to the point. We had a we had a meeting last week with the Home Minister, 14th of August. Very 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 memorable day. Are you happy? with the meeting with the outcome you, you know my opinion was very clear by the, by the time you know the moment i came to know about this meeting was happening i i was you know i was very happy with the meeting i am as you are asking me i am very happy with the meeting for one particular and very very specific reason you know this meeting was important for all of us all those you know who we want gorkha land who we support the gorkha land movement who, i want this i was i am happy as i am saying is because this meeting with, with our honorable home minister rajnath singh ji this has opened the door for further dialogues see i am not concerned and i knew for a fact that this meeting is not going to give us any form of solution or even for that matter the, that meeting you know the, on the 14th of august that meeting was uh, so supposed to you know lead us to any kind of solution no i knew it from the very beginning the moment as i said that this meeting was an opener for us this has opened the door for us so so that is the importance of the meeting doctor you say that uh, this has been a door opener or what i think you are you are saying also is that you are now convinced that the the government is hearing you is that is that uh, yeah that that's what the central, um, the central government that that is what i wanted see t- till the time like we had a meeting uh, with the home minister t- till that day people were coming people were coming from different organizations they were meeting with everybody you know all like all the ministers here there the mps mlas everybody whomsoever they wanted to meet they were meeting but what was happening with all these meetings and you know submission of memorandums was the fact that no nothing was actually being heard by the people who are the decision makers yes of course as a party like people have like we ourselves you know we ourselves have met The, like when parikar ji was the defense minister we've met him we've met uh, you know other ministers also but but the thing is now with the meeting with the home minister who is one of the very very important person in making any kind of decision with regards to gorkha land this has opened up a host of opportunities for us you know opportunities in terms of negotiation in terms of putting forward our views what do we want you know otherwise till that point of time i i do not think you, you know or what was happening was the fact that nobody was listening to us but now with this meeting it it was clear it has in fact become clear to us that the central central government and the ministers there the decision makers are very much aware of what is happening in darjeeling 66 days 66 days today right internet happened did internet open up no internet has you know that there is still the blockage of internet and food? Yeah. Uh, yeah there yes there are problems of food 
but uh, you know so but one thing i would like to say here is the fact that you know as 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 gorkhas as people who are struggling who are you know agitating right and for the cause and that cause is gorkha land and i see that people back home do not mind the, the closure of internet and the, the we, of course there are many problems with the closure of internet with the you know uh, the, the supply of food being stopped but you know this is part and parcel of the agitation people are willing to face you know i was just going through i was just going through a, a interview taken by some of the people who are working on the food relief right they, they were taking the interview of the locals and this old lady this old lady says is says you know, what she says is amazing you know what she says is the fact she does not or she is not concerned about the supply of food she is not concerned about anything the the hardships that she has to face but what she is concerned is only gorkha land that is what she wants and i'm sure all of us yes we talk among ourselves the internet is not there it should be you know there the food supply should be there yes people are working in different ways to to see that food is being reached to the people right people who are suffering and you know all of us outside of darjeeling those who are outside of darjeeling they are also contributing in their own ways of making sure that people back home do not go hungry right we all of us are coming together to to do things for people back home but the most important thing as i said is the fact that you know this is part and parcel of agitation and we should not lose our hope and we should not lose our spirit we have to have the gorkha spirit of struggle of being victorious you know a very a very serious part of this entire process this entire movement has been the fact that doctor just before we were just shooting the show just before the the show began doctor told me that the amount of faith that you have that center will intervene and center will make gorkha land happen is tremendous isn't it yes that that's that's what we we have tremendous uh, you know hope on hope as well as you know believe on the central government right we we believe that the, the central government the, the government at the center will definitely take some decisions in our favor yes there there may be some you know concerns the political concerns of bjp who is at power in the center they, they may have their political concerns so so because of that probably they are delaying taking any kind of decision now but i am sure yes we we have faith and we we do believe uh, because we have been supporting them for the last you know 10 years just when singh became uh did the uh he, he was our first you know in 2009 he was our mp now we have ss aluwalia so we have you know in the process we we have sona loyalty and we have also fulfilled our duties of making bjp victorious from our constituency now it is up to bjp to return the faith right what we've done to them i'm sure that they are i'm sure i'm sure like as i said you you know all of a sudden rajnath singh calling a, upon our leadership to have a dialogue with him that too on a sunday and people do not know many people do not know about the fact that the home secretary was also called for the meeting so so you know home secretary being called for a meeting itself says a lot about the meeting so i'm sure at some level everybody in the bjp must be doing their part to to make sure what our prime minister said you you know gorkha ka sapna mera sapna hai he said that so so i'm sure like they, they are working towards the fulfillment of the gorkha sapnas right the gorkha dream but yes there must be some they may have some political compulsions which i'm sure they they will overcome and they will also look at the issue of gorkha land very soon in a positive manner In fact, Mr. Jawdekar, Mr. S. S. Aluwalia, all of these people have come out openly in support of Gorkha land. Not once, but many a times. Not privately, but also in press conferences and also in open media, isn't it? Yes, that's true. Correct. Now let me come closer to home. 
Mamata Banerjee's attitude towards Gorkhas two years back were that they were our brothers. All of a sudden, no more brothers. Pani ko rok raha hai. Food is being stopped. What what exactly is happening there? I think yeah, you know I I think Mamta Banerjee has totally lost the ploy here. Uh, why I'm saying this is the fact that she miscalculated her politics with regards to Gorkhaland agitation. Why I'm saying this is the fact she thought right she thought from the I'm, I'll I'll just go back a little before this movement started. Let me go back to the. Uh, legislative assembly, you know, election which we had, you know. So she calculated the Gorka, the, the Gorkha people as well as the Gorkha land de demand to in in a completely wrong manner. She supported uh, Dr. Hargavadur Chetri, right? She thought that by by breaking, you know, by by breaking Dr. Har or taking away Dr. Hargavadur Chetri from Gorkhajan Mukti Morcha, she would weaken Gorkhajan Mukti Morcha, and that did not happen. E even for that matter, Dr. Hargavadur Chetri lost the assembly election to the Gorkhajan Mukti Morcha candidate, right? So the, that was first thing. Secondly, she thought by creating Kalingpong district, you, you know, she would again weaken our movement. She thought that by creating Kalingpung district, the entire people of Kalingpung would support her. We would she completely failed to understand that no, Gorkhaland is much bigger than, you, you know, it's, it's greater than the sum of its parts. Gorkhaland is much gre greater than the sum of its parts. So people would not, you know, for Kalingpung district, they would not give up the demand of Gorkhaland. So she missed it there, right? She, she failed to understand that. And the other thing, what she thought was the fact that, you know, that this was going on for quite some time. The language issue, I'm sure you've discussed the language issue so many times, right? But I'll just, uh, let me add to it, like, you know, you, you've discussed the language issues in the earlier episodes of yours. So, so let me add here, Be before this implementation of the Bengali language in the schools, right, they had already started the, the imposition of, you know, Bengali language. Firstly, when the Rasan cards were, you know, Rasan cards were printed in Bengali language. Then, the health cards were printed in Bengali language. There was a small section of people opposing those moves. She did not see that as, you know, if she does something bigger, bigger opposition might, you know, the... the bigger opposition might arise. She failed to understand that. So in sum, what I'm trying to tell you, giving you these examples is, she has completely failed to understand the, the emotions and the politics of Gorkhas attached with Gorkha land. Before I end this section, Doctor, I want you to look into your camera and I want you to talk directly to Mamata Banerjee, tell her what the Gorkhas are expecting, tell her what the Gorkhas are expecting from her and what we are expecting her to do for us. Please tell her. Uh, Didi, Didi, this is a request I'm making to you from the bottom of my heart. You cannot hold the land that does not belong to you. The land belongs to us, the Gorkhas. We want the land being separated from Bengal. We want the creation of Gorkha land. And I would also like to request here that as a Didi, so your big heart, you've been coming to Darjeeling telling us how good things you've been thinking of us, for us, right? And also, what you've been telling us is the fact that you would do anything and everything for the Gorkhas. We only want you to do, the one and only thing we want you to do is you give us back a land. Help us in creating Gorkha land within the Union of India. Right? And to stop this constitutionally right, to, to, to stop this legally right demand of ours, you kindly stop from arresting our innocent people 
from you know torturing our innocent people psychologically you know torturing our emo- innocent people back home we do not want you to engage yourself in any kind of violence there violence which the people have not started we are in a, in a agitation which we are doing it in a, in a very very peaceful gandhian manner so i request you to kindly stop all these atrocities that you are inflicting upon our people and also kindly give us back our land and help us in creating gorkha land राजनीति प्रपंच ठोंग ढकोसले से दूर भारत और दुनिया के तमाम हिंदुओं से जुड़ी हर एक जानकारी खबरों की इस भीड़ में आपके काम की खबर दिखाने वाला देश का एकमात्र फेसबुक लाइव चैनल हिंदू वर्ल्ड खबर हिंदू नजरिए से Welcome back from the break. I'm still here with Doctor, and he, we have been talking about a lot of things uh, uh, pertaining to Gorkha land. He spoke to Mamata Banerjee directly, and I hope Mamata listens to it. Mamata understands his his, his predicament, and Mamata acts on it. Doctor, another question that keeps on haunting us is this question of economy. a lot of people a lot of people especially a section of economist say that the biggest problem the biggest predicament between uh, for 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 west bengal to grant you gorkha land is the fact that the darjeeling economy the the gorkha land economy actually fuels west bengal mm. the growth in the 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 the, the gorkha land economy is far more higher than the west bengal economy ttt as they say timber tea and tourist all the three exist in darjeeling give me your views on that yes uh, when we talk about the economy of darjeeling um, yes we, have, uh, we we do speak about the three t's tea timber and tourism that that's yes that these three t's has been the you know mainstay of darjeeling economy uh, yes people have been talking about it yes that's true right um uh, see these three t's you know uh when you look at tea industry right we we have almost around uh, 84 tea gardens in the hills and another you know around 300 tea gardens in the in the tarai and doors area right and darjeeling alone you, you know produces around um i i think around 8 million kgs a year of tea which is of export quality right so the the, the this year due, due to this gorkha land agitation right the agitation which which is going on and the you, you can just see the the you know the support of the people to to the creation of gorkha land that the tea gardens were completely shut down right not a single leaf in, in the second flower period was plucked so so there was no production at all in the entire second flower you know it's wasted so uh going by going by the uh, report which was which was uh, published in hindustan times or i i think yeah it was published in hindustan times which says that the the tea gardens lost in this period around 350 crore of rupees right so well, what i'm trying to tell you is tea garden is a major major backbone of darjeeling economy yes right and similarly tourism right Tour- tourism 
This the same report says that in this one month, you know, they had taken only one month into consideration. They, they said that uh, almost to the tune of 1,000 crores was lost, right? So, so you know, but going by this uh, size of, of a state, which will be, uh, you know, in comparison to many of the states of India, it will be a small uh, state, a even population-wise, in comparison to many of the other states in of India, it will be the, the population will be small. Doctor, but, I want to intervene you here. People say that there is a doubt whether Gorkha land will be able to handle its own economy. How true is that doubt? No, no, we will be able to handle our economy absolutely well. In fact, we will be a you know one of the most you know performing economically performing one of the most you know. Uh, profit-making states in India. You know, I, as I was telling you about th how, how much of revenue is generated by tea industry, how much of revenue is generated by the, the uh, tourism sector, how much of revenue is generated by timber, right? The, as you were talking about the three Ts. But what one thing with which many of our people as well as people uh, who observe Darjeeling and also who are observing the, the Gurkhaland movement and making this comment that, you know, will the state be vi economically viable? I would like to tell them that, yes, the three T's itself is, you know, enough for us to, to make our state economically viable, okay? That is one thing. The other thing is the fact that there are certain things which are a great contribution to the economy of Darjeeling, which people have not, you, you know, studied, which people have not, you know, looked into. So... Uh, you know, I I am doing a research. It's, it's a four-year research with, with uh, Hiroshima University, which is uh, going on, right? So, so we are studying the, the production of you know fruits and vegetables in Darjeeling Hills. So, I, I just happened to did a small fieldwork uh, for the thing, for f pertaining to this research, and it comes out very very clearly that you know these sectors of vegetables. Fruits like oranges, we can create, you know, a, a very, very, uh, we can get and collect, you know, a large uh, economic turnover from this. I'll give you an example. In a, in a small village called Mangmaya, you know, I happened to visit a, a orange processing factory a young guy had set up, right? So, you know, his oranges, his oranges... He uses, he sells, he, sorry, he does not sell it as fruit. But what he does is he processes the oranges. Firstly, he makes juices out of it, right? He makes jams out of it. And, you know, when he's, when he's making the juice and when he's crushing the, the orange, the pulp, you know, it's not wasted. What he does is he uses the pulp as animal feed. Well, the, the seeds are again sold as seeds, right? The, the skin of the orange is crushed, made into dust, and it is used in tea again. You know, it's used to flavor tea. So the point is, now we have people who are innovative. We have entrepreneurs, right? You can see, I'm talking to you about a village which may hardly have a, you know, a population of 100 people. Right? In, in such a village, you have a young person coming up with such innovative ideas. And we have another person, you know, who's set up this entire exp exporting unit. And what he exports is the fact, you know, dogs are given this bone-shaped thing or made of skin, right? But what he's done is the fact, instead of the skin, he's using what we locally called as churpi. That is, you know, a uh, uh, cottage cheese which is made hardened and it's like, you know, you just keep on chewing, right? So, so this churpi, what he's done is he's used this churpi, the, you know, this hardness, the, the cottage uh, cheese, he's made it hard, he's made it into that bone-shaped thing which is given to the do dogs. And he is having a big market in the U.S. So the point I'm trying to make here is the fact that, you know, apart from what we consider as the mainstays of Darjeeling economy, the three Ts, there are many other things. For instance, hydroelectricity, 
right? We, we are producing almost around how, uh, almost around 370 megawatt of hydroelectricity, right? And West Bengal government is earning all the revenue. You know, and what we are talking about is the fact that, you know, when we look at Darjeeling's economy, what is happening? The, the, econo the tea, when you look at tea, the tea is being auctioned somewhere else in Calcutta, right? No, no, it is only there are other, you know, related economic aspects Right, which we do not take into consideration. What we are taking into consideration is only the fact that you know, okay, tea is being, you know, tea is being uh, produced. It has been auctioned, and this much of money came into it. But you know, if we auction it here in Darjeeling, you know, if we auction it in Darjeeling itself, then what happens is the other allied components of the entire tea economy will also come into Darjeeling. So. Economically, the point I am trying to make here is, economically, Gorkha land will be a prosperous state. You see, Doctor, we have spoken about uh, social issues in Darjeeling. We spoke about economic issues in Darjeeling. I want to talk about political, uh, one political aspect. Doctor, there is a lot of people who say that GJM has not been carrying other smaller political parties in their fold. They have, been, they have been taking random decisions and they have been doing things which they want to do and what they feel is right, number one. Number two is a lot of people are also questioning the leadership of GJM. I want you to know, I want to know your views. See, l let me tell you very, very clearly. In Darjeeling, you know, Bimal Gurung is the undisputed leader, right? I'll, I'm saying it again, Bimal Gurung is the undisputed leader. His leadership is not questioned at all in Darjeeling. People saying, uh, you know, that GZM is not taking other parties into consideration. I, I think th these are people who, who are outside of Darjeeling. See, of course, people outside of Darjeeling does matter in this movement. I'm not saying they are not important. Yes, all of us are important. All of us. I, I myself am outside of Darjeeling, right? All of us are important. But one thing is the fact that you know whatever happens what we talk about in delhi what we talk about in mumbai what we talk about in chennai what we talk about in bangalore for that matter any place you name it outside of darjeeling yeah, you know it, it it does not hold much of a ground because it is darjeeling which will decide of course i am not saying that people do not oppose leaderships people do oppose leaderships but my point is this is not the time to oppose the leadership this is a time for us to be united the moment you know you start questioning the leadership of gurghajan mukti morcha the questioning the leadership of gurghajan mukti morcha and for that matter the, the leadership or the role that is being played by gurkha land movement coordination committee then you are actually strengthening the enemy you are not contributing to the movement. So we have to realize people, those people who are trying to question the, the leadership of Bimal Gurung, they have to realize for the fact that this is not the time to question the leadership. This is not the time to question the movement. With the formation of GMCC and also sending of GMCC to the Home Minister that Bimal Gurung is taking along all the parties parties which exist only on paper as well, who do not have any, you know, followers or supporters, also those parties he is taking on board and taking collective decision. Doctor, thank you so much for coming down. You came all the way from Delhi to talk to us, to talk to our viewers. I think that's, that's, that shows the seriousness in which actually GJM takes this and, and, and the seriousness of the moment. I request every viewer across India, I repeat, like I always been repeating, Gorkha land, the Gorkha, the Indian Gorkhas are not asking for a separate country. They are asking for a piece of land within the Union of India. They are asking for a separate state within the Union of India. They are seeking to maintain their identity, their language and their culture. I think they deserve it.
And I think we as Indians should now come forward for our brothers in, Gor in Gorkha land, in Darjeeling. We should stand, by, stand with them. It is 67th day. A child in Gorkha land is still not getting the, the privilege of, 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 of applying for a school admission. We need to support them. We need to be part of them. And we, India, need to tell them that we are with them. Thank you.